Okay, today we're going to demonstrate this little Stuart beam engine that I've uh, finally completed after about 400 hours of spare time work over the last four or five years. I picked this engine because it demonstrates uh, movement that you don't see in other engines. Most specifically the watts linkage, which is this series of links here, of which there are eight. The purpose of this is to maintain vertical positioning of the connecting rod while it's trying to pump the beam which is rotating about this axis. You notice as the piston is at its uppermost travel, we have a parallelogram here, these four links, and as it goes down, the parallelogram is maintained but in the opposite direction, thereby keeping the connecting rod vertical. Okay. The piston is driven with a sliding valve that's in the valve chest here and uh, that's actuated as the flywheel turns causes the bridle linkage here to raise and lower thereby opening ports to the cylinder. The governor, conventional governor, is a device that's driven off of the crankshaft and as it turns it moves the, the balls outward with centrifugal force causing this lever to retract which puts a butterfly valve into the system here, thereby shutting down the steam. We're running this thing on compressed air today, but it's, it's functional just the same. We can start it up now, see what happens. Here you can see the action of the watts linkage very nicely uh, as the engine's running slowly. And we'll speed it up and bring the governor into play. Of course, what would a steam engine be without a whistle? 